What is up everybody? It's Nick from Mining Office and today I have got a special video. It's a collaboration from many members of the YouTube mining community so I'm very hyped for this. Today we're going to be discussing a very important topic which I think doesn't get discussed enough which is what do people do with the crypto they mine and what is their crypto mining strategy relevant to this? So um, one opinion on this matter being my opinion uh, is not worth very much I think. The more opinions the merrier in this case and for that reason I reached out to like I mentioned many members of the crypto community to see what they thought about it. Just a couple things before we get started. I want to give a huge thanks to everybody who contributed to this video, guys. So I would ask you all to be respectful. Um, try and watch the video all the way through from beginning to end and don't skip anybody's part, all right? Everybody took the time to contribute to this so I could deliver this information to you guys. So I hope you appreciate it. Make sure and like the video and subscribe to all the channels that contributed, all right? So without any further delays, let's roll into the first opinion I got. I'm gonna mix it up. I'm not even going to start with myself. I'm going to go to one of my good buddies. He is up and coming in the mining space. He has very, very informative videos and great quality stuff. I recommend you check him out. Highly underrated. It's 3 Fox Co. So I'll hand it over to Jacques. What is up miners and welcome back to the YouTube channel of Mining Office. I'm Jacques from 3 Fox Co. and I'm a crypto miner and a YouTube content creator. In today's video, I'll be taking you over my strategy for mining crypto in 2022 and beyond. Everybody's situation is different. My situation might not be the same as yours. So each individual strategy will differ. So the first part of my strategy is I don't spend money that I'm not willing to lose. This is very important, especially if you're starting out in mining, is there's a large amount of risk involved and you should never be spending money that you are not willing to lose. My mining farm, I'm running as a business and subsequently I also registered a company. In my situation, what do I benefit from having a registered company? First of all, I can depreciate the value of the equipment over a certain period of time. Secondly, I'm getting some tax incentives because business tax is usually lower than individual tax. Also with a registered company, I can build a company for the electricity that I'm using for the office space that I'm using. So with regards to the physical hardware, I'm looking at two things. Efficiency is my number one priority. I personally believe that efficiency will be the thing that will save the miners in the long run. The second thing that I'm considering is future resale value of the physical GPUs. So in my case, I've got a combination of 1660 Supers, 1660 Ti's, as well as 3060 LHR version 2s. This is also one of the reasons why I'm not buying the older cards like the RX 580s for instance as this is cards that's been around for many years and I believe that the resale value in future will not hold the same value as the 30 series for instance. So now let's talk about the crypto that I'm mining and what I am doing with the crypto that I accumulate. So I personally try to hold as much as I can. I'm basically mining Ethereum I'm mining Ethereum and having it paid out in Bitcoin and I'm mining Ravencoin. So I'm accumulating as much crypto as possible as I believe in cryptos in the future. But also as I'm running this as a business I have to cover the expenses that I'm incurring running the mining farm and facility. So with a registered business there's expenses that comes with having a business. Things like accounting costs, electricity usage, office space rental. So I only convert enough cryptocurrency into fiat currency so that I'm able to cover these expenses. I'm also actively reinvesting into the farm to be able to expand the, the farm that I've got. So currently I'm only buying GPUs if I can get a really good price or if it's close to MSRP for new units. So the GPUs that I'm interested in buying in 2022 is the 16 series from Nvidia, the 30 series from Nvidia, Possibly the A2000s if I can get a hold of some, as well as the 6600 XTs from AMD. I hope you enjoyed this video about me taking you through my strategy for 2022 and beyond. And let's go back to mining office. 
great stuff. So big thanks to Jacques for submitting that. He gives some really insightful information on the business side of things, covering your expenses, right? And then also hodling a part of it and reinvesting into the farm, getting new GPUs to produce more cryptocurrency. So really doing a variety of things. I think in his situation, this is a really good practice and I think he'll be really successful with this. So uh, that being said, let's move on to our next crypto content YouTuber. Um, this guy is Altered Component. He is my RGB knife wielding buddy. Um, <laughs> he is the king of unboxings and uh, he's probably the first person I contacted when I started making content for questions and stuff like that. And he's been super, super helpful since the start. So let's hand it over to Altered Component. Here we go. Welcome. For those of you who don't know me, I am Altered Component. I make YouTube content about mining, mining hardware, about how to buy GPUs and other hardware related content. Recently, my man Nick from Mining Office and I were talking and he asked me about my crypto strategy. Basically, what do I do with my mining rewards? Do I hodl? Do I exchange? Do I liquidate, etc.? Before I go into the details of my personal strategy and what I do, I want to start off with a disclaimer. This is not financial advice. There is an inherent risk with investing any investing and especially with cryptocurrency. Never invest what you cannot afford to lose. At the end of the day, do your best to do what suits you and your individual situation. Okay, now that we got the disclaimer out of the way, I thought I should probably quickly touch on my background and how my crypto strategy has actually changed in 2021. My strategy was much different from today. From 2017 to 2020, pretty much everything that I mined, I held on to or I hodled. When 2021 rolled around, the whole market began to boom, it began to bustle again, and it was time to basically grow my mining operation with the market. Nowadays, I spend nearly all the ETH as fast as it comes in to reinvest into my mining farm. So the question at hand is, how do I turn this into this? Well, for one thing, I use this guy. This is a Crypto.com Visa card. Hashtag not a sponsor. Basically, all of my mining rewards drop into an external wallet, and then I move that Ethereum into the Crypto.com Ethereum wallet. I use the app on my phone to top up my prepaid Visa in the US dollars, which is essentially selling the Ethereum within the Crypto.com app at the current market value. Then the card basically acts like any other Visa or debit card. I use this Crypto.com Visa card on Newegg, on Amazon, on AMD Direct. Make sure to check out my video on how to buy AMD GPUs at MSRP, by the way. I use it on new mining hardware. I use it on subscription fees. I use it to pay down on my PayPal account. And the best part of this method is it's relatively easy and pain-free. To recap, I still keep a small portfolio of cryptocurrencies that I've mined over the years. It's made up of around 50% Bitcoin and then a handful of other altcoins. But all of my 2021 mining rewards are constantly being reinvested into new hardware to continue to grow, to continue to provide you with great content. I just want to close out by saying thank you to my man, Mining Office. I appreciate you allowing me to drop in and to share my current cryptocurrency strategy. And now back to you. Very nice. Big thanks to Altered Component. Uh, it was very good of him to share his strategy. You can see for him, it evolved over time. He's at the point now where he's going all in, reinvesting all his crypto to get new equipment. If you watch his channel, you can tell he's doing a unboxing every day. That's maybe not true, but he's doing unboxings very, very often. Uh, he's always getting new gear in and you can see him expanding the farm nonstop. Uh, it's really cool to see. I wish him the best of luck. Um, and it's great to see somebody going as hard as he is. So uh, I guess now is a good time where I can give my strategy. I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be short and sweet, guys. For myself, I hodl everything I mine. I have not sold a single coin, a single token yet. I've sold nothing. Actually, the only things I've actually purchased with cryptocurrency have been NFTs on uh, ETH and on Ravencoin. So 
all the ETH, all the Raven, all the Raptorium, all the Helium. I've hodled it all, and I just store it on this guy, or I store what cryptos I can on this guy, uh, on my Trezor. So I'm really hodling it for the long run. I'm hoping for those long-term gains, and I'm reinvesting into my farm with fiat uh, in order to buy new gear, new GPUs, and stuff like that, and really trying to hodl all the cryptocurrency I have for the time being. Maybe there'll come a point where I'll want to grow the farm more, and I might want to sell a part off, um, but I have not even taken any profits yet. Some people might say that that's not smart and you should take profits on the way up. I partially agree with that, but I'm, I'm really bullish for the long run on cryptocurrency, especially on ETH and Raven. So I hold those as much as possible. That's it for me. Uh, let's hop on to our next content creator who contributed. This is going to be Anonymous Miner. He does a bunch of great tutorials on his channel. He's really been exploding recently. Does a lot of great stuff on Raptorium, setting up nodes. He's really knowledgeable on the Helium stuff. I could keep on going. So without any further delays, let's pass it on to Anonymous Miner. Here you go. Hello there, Mr. Mining Office. This is the Anonymous Miner. Thank you for having me on today. And I'm going to go over what I have been doing and what I will be doing with my profits from mining. So up until now, I have been um, what is quote-unquote called rolling the snowball, meaning that I've been buying more and more mining equipment with my mining profits. Now, I have hodled some of those profits, but not as much as I probably should have. I also have to take into account taxes. So I've been saving some money on the side for taxes. Now, what I'm going to start doing is investing in solar. So I found this company here called Santan Solar. They're in uh, Arizona or Nevada. I always mix those two up. It doesn't matter. But the fact is that they have these used solar panels where they take apart large solar installations where they're either upgrading or they're getting rid of the installation. And you can get used solar panels for really cheap. Now it says these have snail trails. You should do some research on that. I don't have time to go over that. But basically, I'm going to get about 10,000 watts of solar panels for $54 a piece, which is about two grand. So about, with shipping 2,500 bucks, I'm gonna have about 60 kilowatts of solar power per day. Now all in, my installation will be about $10,000, maybe a little bit less with permits and everything, and inverters, wiring, racking, etc. So everything all in is gonna be about $10,000 or less, and it's gonna save me about 14, 13.50 to $14 a day at my local power cost. So that works out to be about two years, two and a half years before the system pays itself off. And then I have, after my initial investment, essentially 60 kilowatts of free power a day for mining. So that's where I'm going right now. I'm going to fill my entire roof with solar panels. And after that, we'll see if I can reinvest in some more mining equipment or whatever else I'm going to do. But that's where I'm going right now. And I hope you guys stay tuned. So thank you for having me on today. Fantastic stuff from Anonymous Miner. Guys, I'm loving this video. Everybody is bringing a different aspect to it. So Anonymous talking to us about the taxes. That's something I think all of us are scared of. I know I personally am. This is my first year doing cryptocurrency, so I'm gonna have to start looking into that now. But that's being extremely smart, right? Taking profits to pay the taxes on the gains you've made and on the income you've made and then reinvesting into solar. Again, a very smart long-term play. Once you've paid those solar panels off, I don't know what the ROI is like on that, but you've got free power afterwards that you can use uh, towards crypto, further reducing your power costs. So great stuff from Anonymous Miner. I'm really glad I reached out to all these cool people. I have so many great submissions here. We're gonna have to do this in two parts. So the last person I have for part one of the video is the big dog. He's the big fish in the sea. You guys all know him if you're tuning into this video. He's our Finnish friend, the spreadsheet king and the master of overclocking. Guys, if you need any technical details, please hop on over to his channel. It's Seb from Seb's FinTech channel. I'm sure you already know him. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what his strategy is. So let's hand it off to Seb, here you go. Hey, how's it going mining officers? Seb Heslo here. And I have a little channel here on YouTube called Seb's FinTech channel where I do mining content, mostly about the sort of hardware and software side of crypto mining. And Nick sent over a question to me, which is basically, what do I do with my crypto once I've mined it? And to put it short, I've been mining since about February of 2021. And since then, I've sold everything. I've cashed out every little piece of Ethereum and other coins that I've mined. 
and that is because in i guess my opinion crypto prices are really high right now and they have been consistently high throughout all of 2021 and still are so i'm taking advantage of that now as someone who started you know somewhat recently to cash out everything in order to be able to build up my farm now while crypto prices are high so if we you know see some sort of dip either in crypto prices or mining profitability then i will be at a decent size you know mining wise and don't have to worry about you know ROIing my hardware or anything like that because all of my hardware has been paid by the mining it has done itself basically and i'm pretty much at a spot now where i'm kind of like okay i need to <laughs> calm, calm down with buying new hardware because i'm basically at the limit now of what my house can handle temperature wise and it's the middle of winter so i don't think i can add more gpus without cooking myself alive in here so basically what i'm doing now is i'm still cashing out but i am saving that money in order to pay for upcoming taxes and as well as electricity costs for the coming year and probably also looking into maybe building a shed to put my mining gear in something like that i don't know that's just, those are just loose plans for right now but yeah those are my strategies for what i'm doing with my mind crypto so nick thank you so much for including me in this video and i guess let's hear what someone else has to say well, unfortunately for you guys, you're gonna have to wait till Monday to hear from somebody else, but that was absolutely great from Seb. I'm really, really happy he gave all those details he did. So a little bit of insight in what might be coming to his channel. Um, makes another great point with reaching a limit with heat management. So it's kind of the same thing just in my office here. I've, I've sort of reached that limit. I am cooking myself alive in here. So that's also something you guys should take into account. And you can see that he's really taking advantage of the high crypto prices, making sure he cashes out while the price is high and the profitability is high to again reinvest into his farm and we're seeing some recurring themes now of paying for your costs of taxes of for your gear and also electricity costs which Seb mentioned so very insightful super happy to have asked the opinion of everybody who contributed and I'm, I'm extremely grateful to all of them for having contributed thank you to all you guys personally from myself and I hope everybody watching enjoyed it Please go subscribe to all their channels if you're not already. And I'm really looking forward to part two of this video. So guys, let me know what is the strategy that surprised you the most out of anybody here? And what is the strategy that resembles yours the most? So again, thank you for watching. Smash that like button. We'll see you guys on Monday. Take care. Mining Office out.